Welcome back to Autumn Park after final race of the weekend and the first round of the showdown is now complete. And back on the podium for LKQ Euro Car Parts Kawasaki is Storm Stacy. Storm, it's becoming quite clear that you're amazing in these wet conditions. It's been a tough couple of rounds since the win at Snetson, but in that race you really seem to excel. Talk us through it, please. Yeah, it's been a very tough year for me to be honest we, even with a win in, in, my, in my year it's been quite a tough year for me um, but uh, yeah the wet conditions seem to, to level it out quite a lot for me when it when it rains I definitely don't pull a face I definitely pull a good face um, but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm getting a bit tired of the big lead and then red flag um, being 14 seconds ahead in the first half was definitely uh, boosting my ego a lot and uh, and I felt pretty comfortable with it um, but I do wish in that second half I had have gone for an intermediate rear because I'd have literally taken off where we uh, where we left off I'd have carried on um, but you never know how the weather's going to go unfortunately so we took the safe bet with the soft wet and, uh, and the rear end seemed to be quite all over the place but third place isn't bad. And looking ahead now to the NIP final two rounds of the season going back to Donington and Brands Hatch what do you think you can achieve there? I hope it's wet. I really hope it's wet. Um, unfortunately, in the dry, we just don't seem to have the speed. Um, it's, it's more overall speed on, on straight line. The acceleration of the bike is really good, um, but the actual going of the bike is not so good. Um, so coming into Donington and Brands, we just need to utilise on the bits where we're strong. The last sector is always strong for me at Donington, so somewhere I'm probably going to push quite hard and, uh, and try and make a bit more time. The middle sector is somewhere I struggle, so I'll uh, probably follow Kyle. Thank you, Storm. I'm back on the podium for Honda Racing UK. It's Tommy Bridewell. Tommy, it's been fair to say it's been a bit of a roller coaster this weekend for you, but you still come away from Alton Park leading the standings into the penultimate round at Donington. Give us a bit of an overview of the weekend and especially on that third race, please. Yeah, a tough weekend for sure. Well, no, it wasn't a tough weekend. It was just, if I'm honest, we, as a team, we're obviously always pushing and striving to, to develop the bike in, in Leave No Stone and Turn. And, uh, we had some, some new parts that, in truth, we need to spend a bit more time on. It was very positive on, on the Friday, but I just we, we just didn't have the time to get it right. So we sell, sort of lost uh, that day, and then um, obviously then we had to revert back for, for the Saturday. Immediately, I, I, I felt really strong on the bike Saturday morning, and then straight into qualifying front row, felt great. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to do any sort of full fuel load uh, simulations or, or anything. So... Probably a little bit of naivety, weirdly, um, or stupidity is probably the better word, that going into the, the race yesterday, I felt, you know, I knew I could get a good start, uh, be patient and um, and let the race come to me. But, yeah, it's really, really peculiar crash yesterday, which was frustrating um, because, honestly, I'm still not 100% sure the, the answer to it. I know why I crashed. Um, it was just very peculiar that I did crash, if I'm honest. So... Uh, tough day yesterday, obviously 19 point lead going back to uh, going into that race and then losing it and going to six points behind. But like anything, um, there's a path that we all, we've all been set out and uh, I didn't panic. Uh, I knew the bike was strong. I knew today the weather was going to be intermittent. So the wet race this morning was, was good until I, in truth, I had a, 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 my visor wouldn't disperse the, the water so I couldn't really see. So when I got in behind Leon, Every time I could, let's say, catch him, I couldn't physically couldn't see five foot in front of me. So I knew I was sort of in trouble, especially when the rest come past me. So it was a bit of a salvage job. Um, and then in that race, if I'm honest, I was I was really, really, really happy with my riding uh, on the intermediate front slick rear because, in truth, it's never been my forte of conditions. Um, and then I watched Magni Core last weekend and got, saw Garrett Girl off and it was wet on inters. And I was like, bloody hell, they obviously do work quite well. Uh, and I took confidence from that. And uh, it's the best I've ever ridden with an interfront slick rear. I couldn't believe really how well I was riding. Um, and, then, and then it started raining and then obviously the red flag comes. So I was happy to, I was happy to, to pick up a second. Yes, ultimately we... We, we need to be beating Carl, but uh, our time will come for, for sure. I'm definitely not panicking. I feel like uh, myself and the team are, are very quietly confident. Um, and if I'm honest, I think uh, it will, will, will come to us. But uh, we have to pick our, our battles. 
And in that race, we went with the soft wet, and, uh, and in all honesty, thinking back, we, we probably should have went with the hard wet, because that's what Carl was on. But um, we learned from that, you know, we learned from, from our, it's not even a mistake, we learned from what our competitors are doing and, and everything, and we implement it into our racecraft. So uh, really looking forward now to, to Donington. We had, um, weirdly, this was probably one of my harder rounds uh, earlier in this year. Um, yeah, strangely, it was tough, really tough. And this weekend was good, but Donington was a lot better for me. Um, really enjoyable to ride the bike around there. So looking forward to that. And uh, it gives us now time to, to get the new parts a bit more dialed in and hopefully we'll revert back to them for Donington and um, be stronger again. Thank you, Tommy. Cheers, thank you. Um, back to winning rays for OMG Gorilla Yamaha Racing. It's Kyle Ride. Kyle, it's fair to say in the earlier race today in the wet conditions, you seemed to struggle a bit. But in that one, you managed to have a different level of pace compared to earlier on. What was the difference between those two races and, and how did you regroup for that five lap sprint at the end? Yeah, the, the, the warm up session wasn't too good. I was like four seconds off. And in race uh, one today, sorry, race two, um, I made a big chunk. I made four seconds, but it still wasn't fast enough. I ended up finishing 13th. And, yeah, was a little disappointed, obviously seeing Tommy come fifth after just uh, taking the championship lead yesterday, but I had a uh, brilliant race then, chose intermediates in the first half from 19th, got up to fourth, and uh, the red flag come out, and um, yeah, didn't look like there was going to be much rain coming, it did wet the track a little bit in a few areas, but we went with the hard wet, and I just wanted to pick up where I left off 10 minutes before, and got my head down where the track was dry to make sure um, the tyre was hot when I got to the slippier stuff and yeah, got to the front and seen last lap two and a half seconds, I couldn't believe, believe, believe my eyes and uh, after the day I've had already with warm up and um, the 13th place, I'll take a first all day long. So uh, yeah, two wins over this weekend and uh, the, the race that I didn't really do too good, I managed to get a few points, they might count towards the end of the year. So yeah, thanks to my team, all my sponsors, um, all my team that believed in me so much today. And yeah, the biggest thing then, I believed in myself. So uh, yeah, thanks everyone. And obviously carrying this confidence into the next round at Donington Park, home round for you, and obviously still so important at this part of the championship, especially between how close it is at the top. How do you approach that round now? And is this a different car ride we're seeing this year compared to previous years in the showdown? It's, it's pretty much the same. I've just been a lot more consistent. And when I've had the chance to, to get a trophy or win a race, I've put everything into it like I did there. And, yeah, throughout the season, I might have been able to stick my neck out a few more times, but I'm a real safe rider, and sometimes there's a time and a place. And, uh, yeah, looking back, I could have made a few more positions up, but I stayed on the bike. And, uh, yeah, going to Donington now, I've, I've clawed back the championship lead at a track where Tommy's normally uh, good at, i.e. Alton Park. And, yeah, hopefully we can go to uh, Donington and um, have a great weekend. So, yeah, hope to see you all there. Congratulations, Carl. Thank you.